Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Covenant. We are playing more Civ 6, continuing with our Arabia campaign and going for that religious victory, which is funny because they announced the uh, they're updating the game on uh, June 25th with the June 2020 summer patch, and they're changing some of the beliefs around. So it's going to be interesting because it's like, crap. Well, I guess their next game is going to be another religious game. But anywho, uh, I'm sure we should be done with this one by the 25th. Um, um, may not be live, but I will definitely have it recorded before the 25th. I would think, I would think, because I don't think we're that many episodes away from actually finishing it. Because, let's see, who do we still have to flip here? Religion, we got, uh, three, four, five, six, and Simone is seven. And then, who's eight? Oh, Jean Cutton. I gotta go back and flip one of his cities still. Eh, whoopsie. Speaking of which, hey, buddy, since you're here, would you like to go? Are you 75% or you are? Maybe I should go grab Perth then. Okay, well, all right, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, been a couple days since I recorded, not that it really matters. Because we actually saved this time, so that's always good. <laughs> uh, now every time I load in the game, I'm like, did I save at the end of last time? I think so, I don't know, we shall see, maybe, perhaps. Um, by the way, Simone was neutralized, right? We had about half their cities. I saw, uh, religion. Yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. That's good, that means we're close to actually finishing him off, which then means all we have to take on is Maya at that point, if I recall correctly. Go ahead and just build the monument, don't really care. Uh, they're also changing some of the yields on Natural Wonders, which is kind of interesting and I'm kind of excited to see. Now, clearly I gotta go with the plus six. The problem is, hold up, go back. Um, I need some more production here, desperately. Oof, that flooding's kind of bad. Because that was some good production. What are you actually working here in this city right now? The 3-2 and the 2-3. I mean, that's pretty dang good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, and you're going to grow here in a little bit, so that's going to be even better. I do love, once again, how a lake is flooding. <laughs> sure, you know, those ice caps, dang it. Flooding all the lakes, man. Flooding all the lakes. So do we think... That's Australia. What's... What? What? Did... What? Huh? Huh? I mean, I suppose instead of flipping Brisbane, I could flip that, or Perth, rather. How close are we on Perth? One. Uh, nah, we we're like one spread away, so nah, we'll, we'll ignore that one then. Okay, change of plans, come down this way. We're still trying to find the stupid capital here. Yo, come, just get over here. Find the capital. Find the capital. Uh, sure, you can come this way. Another lake being flooded. You are not a debater. I am, so I'm definitely ready to take you on. You're a 75 percenter. See if we can hit one of these cities in the water. I know it's not a 75 percenter, but <laughs> it just, it sounds cool. It's like the one percenters, but they're the 75 percenters. Okay, we should be able to flip you. You're a debater, meh, but you're a 75 percenter. Yeah, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. We just gotta merge them differently. Uh, there is no holy site there. Was this the capital? No. We still haven't seen this capital? What's the capital? It's gotta be over here, then. I mean, you can see the borders go, so it must be over here. Yeah, I don't know Colombia enough to recognize their city. This could also be their capital. Let's see. Santa Marta. Yeah, see, I have no idea what the Colombian capital is. <laughs> we only played them once. I've only seen them once. Okay, dang it. Uh, religious strength, debater. Even with the holy ground, I will absolutely destroy your life. Do I want to take this fight? I think so. I think so. I think so. Uh, this was not a dead... Oh, pathfinding. Oh, pathfinding. Oh, pathfinding. What are we going to do with you? So you still have one spread. I'm pretty sure there are roads here. Yeah, so spreading here then will actually connect our road systems for the future. Uh, we should go ahead and purchase some more apostles probably next turn. I think I want to send them to the right. Man, I don't know. It's interesting because... Maya is probably closer if we go to the right versus left, but with all of our apostles over here on the left side, I kind of just want to keep sending apostles over here to the left. Uh, where did the dude run to? 
Where, where'd you go? Where'd you go? He ran into the city. You freaking punk. Well, at some point, you're going to try leaving, and I will kill you. So if we do that and that, you will definitely die. You'll get trapped trying to leave. So we should be good there. Uh, I'll bring you up here. I would not mind him taking the attack with, uh, like, hitting someone else. Okay. You probably should get closer to the water. Of course there's a cliff there. Why would there not be a cliff there? Hey, we actually got through. We got through. Aiden. I mean, uh, I need to flip it. <laughs> I need to make it our religion at some point. I should almost just get the Watt. Just because it's extra faith. Like, why not? Um... Was this the plan? I think the plan was to put something here. I don't know what it was, but sure. It sounds like a good option. You do have two spreads, so I, eh, eh. You're not gonna flip, though. I need a 75%er to make that work. Hi! I'm trying to find your capital. I would very much like to kill it. Okay, Perth ended up flipping back without me even spreading. That That's fine. That's fine. We can flip it in the water safely. If I need to. Most likely he'll try leaving. And then that's when we're going to jump and kill. Yeah, exactly. Now, I don't think that's going to be enough to flip the city. I don't know how close it is to flipping. But most likely it's a larger city. Yeah, this shouldn't be enough. Alright, that was totally enough. Ignore me. Uh, Bogata. That's got to be the capital, right? That's got to be the capital. Okay, we discovered mine. Do we have a 75%er over here with the Mayan or down here with the Bogata? Yes. Okay, so then I can send all these guys then to hit Maya. Beautiful. Uh, and everyone still wants to be our friend, which is rather interesting and kind of wonderful. Because we probably have quite a few grievances at this point. How many grievances are we rolling? We have no grievances with you. How do I not have grievances against other players? Huh? How do I have no grievances for flipping everyone's stuff? I guess I don't have that many grievances with them. We culture bombed one of their cities. I totally didn't even know I did that. Suck it. Yeah, that's interesting. Because. I wonder if they nerfed grievances. Economic. Who do we have an economic alliance with? You're probably the only one close enough to actually trade with for an economic alliance, so sure. I wonder if they nerfed grievances against other players, or if just because I've been friendly with everyone, we just didn't generate nearly as many grievances. Honestly, probably the latter. Still, I'm used to, like, pissing everyone off by the end of a religious game just because I've generated so much grievances. Uh, this is still all Scotland. Scotland doesn't have a religion, right? We are down to the last religion. Mayan, yep. Rome, we flipped. Australia, we flipped. Skiism, we flipped. Okay, so Maya's the only one left. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then this is our last road. Congratulations, our roads are now hooked up. Uh, you are going to go down the roads. That's Fine, you actually found in Mayan Apostle. So... We are going to destroy you. Confuse. You know, I don't actually think that's just level two, right? I think that's just level two. You get plus 10 religious combat strength against non ally religions. Huh. Okay. That's cool. Level three. Bonus religion pressure in cities with no followers of your allies' religion. Huh. 
I don't think I realized that that was actually a thing. So with that plus 10, we are just like destroying anyone else just with the 75 percenter. I wonder what a debater would look like. I think I'm going to grab one more debater just because I want to see. Oh, yeah. One hits, man. Dude, with all the bus uh, boost we have right now. That's nice. That is nice. OK, where were we putting a city down? You were going somewhere that apparently got blocked. That's the only answer for you alerting me in your current position. Um, harbor right here is uh, great, so I like that. Honestly, that's where I've gotten when it comes to late game. And actually, you know what? Let's go settle here on the flooded tile. Yeah, I'll settle there. But generally, by the end of the game, it's like, okay, what, what tile makes the best harbor? <laughs> Is that honestly the best choice? Eh, whatever, whatever. So since we're destroying Mayan, we're going to have no problem sweeping through her uh, her territory now with our religion. Good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to be done with this game in probably two or so episodes, which I was going to immediately then start the next series, but we might need to just wait now until July 25th for our next series. Uh, start recording just because, you know, new patch. I, it's not like I'm worried about them breaking the game or anything like that, but, you know, why not? Um, so that was our military academy. Good to note. Also, people mentioned why not use the Mamluk to uh, scout. Probably a good idea, but I kind of just had him hanging out doing his own thing, so I just never moved him. So he's at 80 combat strength, which is the same as infantry correct no it's actually 10 better than infantry weird so why is the third level then so crap so level one's better than a warrior level two is better than a swordsman level three is equal to a musket man level four is better than an infantry which maybe it's balanced because you also got the mechanized infantry it's at 85 still dude the nahang are really good especially considering all they do is cost faith that might be one of the best um city states it's still a commercial hub and like i would imagine i'm not gonna say everyone but i would imagine a lot of people would probably be like would overlook nahang being like yeah i mean new units cool but i mean you could really go to war with them pretty strong Especially since they're infantry. So they're going to get all the bonuses from like siege towers and stuff like that. B, they're not going to get any negatives fighting against uh, 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 spearmen or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, I think I think they're really pretty good. Definitely way better than warrior monks. That's actually one thing the warrior monks need. I think the warrior monks need to be upgraded through the arrows. To make them, you know, at least usable past the beginning of the game we found it what does this look like uh we live so we might can i land through here no zona control brian zona control i don't know why i <laughs> i just trust the game versus actually thinking for myself and being like oh yeah zona control you're not gonna be able to do that might as well bully you up over here it's wasted faith on her part. Okay, you are debater. <laughs> they have one spread, so I'm like, you are definitely a debater. Ooh, I see who I want to beat up. I do love the religion game in this game. It's like, I'm going to go to war and go kill your apostles. We're better. It, you know, it's almost like uh, you've been served. Wait, wait, what is it? Not you've been served. Uh... Because now I'm mixing up the South Park reference. It's like a dance-off? Bring it on. It's already been brought... What? No. You've been served, right? That's the movie? <laughs> You've been served. You've been served. No, no, no. That's not it. That's legal. Um. Is that the South Park reference? South Park? You've been served? Oh, it's on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's the second part? Oh, it's on South Park. 
You got F's in the A is the name of the episode. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Achy, breaky heart. They respond by declaring it's on. No, it's off. Yes, it's on. But isn't there something? Yeah, yeah. Being served. There you go. The serving them. Okay, I was right. I made a South Park reference. It's been a long time since I watched South Park. Specifically those episodes. Uh, okay, uh, we need open borders again. Hi, that, that, that. I mean, I don't need open borders, but I would like open borders. Open borders. Boom. Then we have a military alliance, which we actually did with... Let's switch back. Wait, hold up before we do that. Let's double check that we can switch back. Yeah, we can switch back. So let's go ahead and do that. And we said open borders. Sure, whatever. I know I could trade other stuff, but like, nah, meh. meh. Laziness is a slow and insidious killer. Or laziness is not going to be a slow and insidious killer because, quite frankly, we got it. We got it. Anything you want, you got it. So he actually ran away. Anything you need, you got it. Anything at all, you got it. Baby. Da -na 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 -na. That is... Sweet Caroline. Da -da. Neil Diamond. <laughs> it's like my fa my parents' favorite band. I should know that. Yes, my parents' favorite band is Neil Diamond. Calm down. My parents are very white. I understand. <laughs> uh, dun, dun, dun. Now I got Sweet Caroline stuck in my head. But quite frankly, there's worse songs. So that's a question. Is Sweet Caroline overrated at this point? Has it been so overplayed that now the song is overrated? Or is it still an absolutely amazing song? Now, clearly, if it comes on the radio or, you know, let, let's be honest, no one listens to the radio. I put it on my, I, my iPod. What the hell, Brian? If I play it through my phone... <laughs> into the car's speaker system. You must clearly, me and Emily are both going to scream it as loud as we can. But we are clearly white, so, you know, that maybe has something to do with it. Point being, is it overplayed to the point where, you know, it's no longer good? It's overrated. It's kind of like how a bunch of people now are saying that, uh... What do I want here? trade route sure uh, uh 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 just a small town girl living in a lonely world she took a midnight train going st don't stop believing how that song's now overrated which quite frankly i don't believe i'm not in that i don't think it's overrated i still think it's an absolutely great song but yeah definitely a little on the overplayed side which actually really comes and makes some interesting points what makes a song overrated like can you just say just because you've heard the song too much that the song's overrated isn't that kind of just like wrong and just BS and stupid? Uh, what's flooding? Oh, you just got pillaged. Okay, that's fine. I feel like just because it's overplayed, you shouldn't, you know, immediately dismiss the song. Dude, I love that we're just instantly killing. Oh my God, and you have more people for us to kill. Like you were just so nice right here, Maya. Yeah, we're just gonna be able to just wreck you. You got nuclear subs and rock bands, wow. We are a little behind the eight ball here. Now I have just a small town girl stuck in my head. Living in a lonely world. Uh, that's the Texas version. She took the midnight train going anywhere. Okay. Uh, 75 percenter. Oh, yeah. You're the ones that were fighting and killing. Let's just let's just get you over here. And in fact, we should next turn, I think, start flipping here just so we can end the game a little bit quicker this is actually going to be a sub 300 victory not the sub 200 probably 250 probably slightly in front of 250 is my current guess we will go up to three and i think we'll stop i really do want candy but it's probably too late now for candy Candy is like great. I mean, Yurvin having Yurvin next to you is just instant win. Having candy nearby is great no matter what kind of uh, uh, victory type you're going for. But man, if you're doing like a cultural victory, that candy's probably better served at that point. Are we worried about? I probably should be. 
I mean, the thing is, they do so little damage to me now. Yeah. But he is at a little bit lower HP than I would like to see. I don't know why you're alerting me when you literally have no other moves. Uh, that's the one thing I hate and wish would change. So... Can't, unfortunately, get you guys in position. So we'll do something like this. I think I'll put you in the water. And then I'll probably bring you there and just use the charge next turn. Uh, there's another island over here. Okay. Surprised this warrior's still alive. Actually, I'm not surprised because I'm manually controlling him. If I was not manually controlling him, he would have died by now. Religious victory. We do have Colombia. We still don't have Australia? How do we still not have Australia? What is not my religion when it comes... Oh, all right. Catholicism came here. Who's Catholicism? Wait, how did Australia take their stuff back? When did that happen? You know, we might have just been lazy. Yeah, these are just all uh, st cities that didn't have a holy site. We just got lazy. Okay. Well, luckily for us, we just spawned a bunch of new people. So, yeah, hey, come down here and just start flipping again. Okay, and then we were going to come over here. Might as well do it in Baghdad. It is our religion. 630. Ah, 645. I need one more turn. I miscalculated. Well, I didn't actually calculate. I misguessed. How about that? That's a better option. Ba -ba -ba -da lonely <laughs> Gosh, why? Maybe that's why it's overrated, because it gets stuck in your head then literally all day. But I mean, that can't be overrated. If anything, that makes it probably underrated. Or, you know, needs to be rated higher. All right, we're just going to do 75 percenters from here on out. I honestly just kind of did the debater on this other one just to see how much damage it would do i guess for meme purposes meme purposes mean purposes mean girl i mean sure if there is a better picture of mean girls in the i mean if there is a way to be mean girls in the game this is literally it going around and basically you know beating up people and talking crap about them because they don't believe what you believe literally what mean girls is about right yes i've seen it my wife has made me see it seen it watch it view it it was okay it was okay i do what i want i don't i don't i don't listen to you i don't i don't do what you want me to do i do what i want to do oh brian oh brian oh brian <laughs> let's just not talk about that okay please let, let's let's just pretend that didn't exist all right, so honestly, just give me the faith. I don't even care about money. I know I could do it by faith, but like, eh, that seems too much time. Uh, debater, let's not start with you. So let's just, you know, move you. We're looking for a holy shite. There's one right here. So get ready to pounce. Uh, you finished a builder. We can actually, you know, use you for once. Good. Uh, you're going to get up here. Might want to heal you, but quite frankly, if we find any barbarians, you're dead. Just straight away. And there's our 75 percenter. Okay, cool. Solway Perth. Firth. Solway Firth. Interesting. I'm assuming that must be uh, Scotland. See the... Hebrides? <laughs> At first, it just seemed like Solway of, or sorry, uh, Sea of the Heebie-Jeebies, and I was slightly confused. Okay, so you are flipped. This is the capital, which we already knew where you were. Essentially, I'm just trying to find people to murder and beat up, because I'm a mean girl, living in a mean world, and I took the midnight train to the Mayan lands. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Not clearly as catchy. I'm definitely no Neil Diamond. I think even my parents would agree. Who love me very much. Uh, okay. Speaking of which, I'm recording this on Father's Day. I need to go call my dad after this. But anyways. Explore. This is mine again. So Maya's got quite a few towns. Yeah. Maya's got a lot. 
13 shitties, six. I actually like that they tell you this. This is a nice little change. That's the one thing I missed from CQUI is you could hover over and actually see how many cities everyone has. So 13, 13, I have one more city than anyone else. Technically, I should have two more cities than anyone else here in just a minute, but it's gonna take a minute before I can get the other city down. And then, yeah, you guys just go explore. Uh, we did have, yeah, so we don't need to worry about flipping anything else from him. You guys are just gonna start flipping 75 percenters, yes, and then that's what you're gonna be as well. And we're just gonna start taking these cities over so we can win the game slightly sooner. I'm thinking next episode's gonna be the last episode, and that was not, I thought we were gonna have another two episodes, but looking at this, I actually think two episodes, or next episode's gonna be it. Cause we should have Mayan pretty quick, and then all we need to do is flip Scotland and I guess I still gotta do England as well, but Churches really not gonna be that hard. Sold. Oh hey, <laughs> we finished the month. Well, all right. With the amount of marshland that exists in this game, that's actually kind of hilarious. Uh, screw it, build a harbor. I don't really care. Mostly because I'm being lazy. Uh, go to Colin. Colin, I always butcher Scottish names. Surely it's not Colin, right? Surely not. Surely not. We we didn't flip. Bren, what are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? There you go. Yeah, then they got the relic too. Okay, you're just the fighter. So we're basically just trying to find people to beat up. I think she's been using her faith. It appears... Uh, to be using her faith more on rock bands, which is great for us because it's just going to make it even easier. There's the Panama. And, you know, it exists. I wouldn't call it the worst Panama Canal. Definitely not the best. I mean, we've seen worse. Oh my gosh, dude. Hungary, Hungary expanded. They did. Okay. So, really? Really? The amount of freaking pressure I should have on these cities. How the heck <laughs> did you not flip? Yeah, seriously. Like, you have been next to my religion all this time, and you still don't want to believe in me? Do you not know who I am? Do you not know the joy of Jeff? <sighs> tisk. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Uh, who did we meet? Singapore. Oh my god, dude. We got all the good ones. Wait, no, I don't think we met Singapore. I think we'd already seen them. Yeah, 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 because we had talked about Singapore. So Bandar, maybe? Oh, no, here. Kaguna? Your builders can now make the Bete improvements. I've never seen this one. Plus one culture, plus one culture for every adjacent bonus resource and entertainment complex. Increase to plus two in exploration. Provides tourism after researching flight. So you could get a plus like four, six, eight culture which seems kind of interesting simone has it so let's see if there's any been playing too much eu4 f doesn't work uh b-a-t-e-y i want to see if there's any built yes um all right uh all right <laughs> there we go there we go huh so it looks kind of like an outdoor, I was going to say Coliseum, but now it kind of looks like a fighting pit to be straight up honest with you. It looks like two like sumo fighting pits. Huh. I like it though. Dude, their new city states are just freaking baller, man. Kind of makes some of the other ones, I mean, don't get me wrong. You still have the super overpower ones like Geneva. Geneva has always been really, really good. Um, then, uh, oh yeah, Yerevan and Candy were both really good. Fez isn't all that great. Preslav, yeah, yeah. Mo and Joe, that's another one that's really, really good. So, but I think every one of their new ones are just like 10 of 10, which I think is the change because most of the time when they've added city states in the past, not necessarily as good, which actually brings up the question. Are they going to be giving more city-states with every... So, you know, since they're spreading out the 
updates now or the patch or the expansion over the next you know year or so does that mean every update is going to bring more city states if so that would be a lot of city states but i'm not complaining there's a lot of civs so a whole lot of civs a whole freaking ton of civs says the guy who's literally been trying to go through the civs a second time for over a year now wow and we still haven't gotten through them all that's crazy and i got freaking 1200 hours in this game man crazy it's 1200 hours and we still have not gotten through every civ twice seems about right i mean don't get me wrong i have played some civs more than twice and we all have our preferences for civs which is funny because i think i saw it on the subreddit people are like talking about like what's your favorite civ like what's your go-to civ and i was actually having to sit there and think like i don't know if i have a go-to civ i mean if i had to pick a civ to play as like you know life or death and i had to win the game i would probably pick samaria 99 percent of the time just because they're eh. life or death i had to win the game why wouldn't i pick korea no no i'd probably still pick samaria it's just early aggression oh hi barbarians run away early aggression i think would just be way better just to be able to guarantee yourself a victory and then they get enough science bonuses as well not necessarily to compete with korea but you know to win now also that probably matters too am i playing against other people and really russia probably is the safest bet Especially can for like multiple victory types, you know. Because if I pick Samaria and then all of a sudden I found out Korea's in the game, we're not screwed, but it's like, all right, well, this is gonna be a little harder. We're just picking Russia. You're great for faith, you're great for culture, you know. And you're pretty well set. I don't know. Still, that doesn't answer my question. Who would be my go-to civ? I mm. like part of me wants to say Brazil of all people and part of the reason I like Brazil is because Brazil always spawns in the rainforest and it's great because it's like they spawn in the rainforest and they get a bunch of bonuses for rainforest it's kind of nice you know unlike Scotland who you know spawns in the tundra every time even though they get no bonuses for the tundra even though they don't have a tundra of buys but you know mm-hmm mm-hmm Mm -hmm. Tell me that they don't always spawn in the freaking tundra. <sighs> They're on a desert with tundra freaking right next to them. Ay. My gosh, dude, Scotland. Can you just like... Maybe it's just a situation where they just don't have enough of a bias and everyone else has such a great bias that they always get just crapped on for their lack of biases. Maybe, maybe. But I guess for now, that's going to be this episode. Uh, this one's a bit of a rambler, but, you know, hope you enjoyed it. Anyways, if you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, share your support. Next episode will probably be our last one, maybe a little bit longer. And then after that, I guess we're going to have to wait a couple days for the new patch. Because, let's see, this should come out on the 22nd, which means the final episodes will either be the 23rd, 24th. I will probably most likely record the uh, 25th. Like, if the patch is the 25th, I'll probably put that episode live then on the 25th. So, at most, you guys will have to live without Civ for like a day or two. Now, will we probably randomize? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but if they're changing religion, we definitely want to do religion. Let's 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 look look many many real quick. Let's look at the Hall of Fame and just see what other religious civs. I know, no, no, I know what you're thinking, and no, absolutely not. I'm not playing Khmer. <laughs> you cannot make me. Now, if you're talking civs that you absolutely will never go to, that one's easy. Khmer, Khmer, hundred percent. I don't I don't even think Khmer is the worst civ in the game, but I. Cannot play as Khmer. Hate them. Why? Freaking mods turning themselves on. Uh, okay. We could go, uh, Nubia. We could. God, this, this is pretty filled in now. Wow. Seriously. It's either going to be Nubia or Khmer. Hmm. Remind me Nubia's boost. I can't actually see the Cipedia from here, can I? 
I don't know why. Because that used to be in Civ 5. You can see the Civpedia from here. And it was so nice. I guess I can technically go here. And then look here. Yeah, she doesn't really get boost towards... Yeah, she isn't going to boost towards Faith. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to play as freaking Khmer. Uh, uh, Khmer. Khmer is... What's his name? What's his name? Hi, what's your name, Khmer? I hate him so much. I can never think of these names. Like, when push comes to shove, and, like, I have to actually think about it, I'm always, like, I always blank. Khmer. Khmer. There he is. Yaverman. God dang it, dude. I'm gonna have to do Khmer. Ah! Well, then. See you guys next episode. Bye.